thinking about them. So thank you so much for being here. And I just want to, before I leave, this is, these events are hard. Um, as you saw, the, the folks that were up here, they were the volunteers that put this event together. So let's give uh, the, a round of applause to the Friends of Cypress Park Community Improvement Association. The Greater Cypress Park Neighborhood Council, Councilman Gil Sadio and his staff for working with the veterans and the volunteers because this day would not be possible without them. Also, I want to recognize the following speakers who are here today. Um, in, in the state legislature, we are able to give out certificates um, rather easily. Here in Congress, there's a lot more rules. And one of the rules is that we have to submit the names to, to, the, to the rules committee, to the ethics committee, to make sure that the certificates can be approved. Um, so I have some certificate, congressional certificate of recognition. So I wanna give one to Wes. Wes, are you here? Come on up, Wes. <laughs> no, no, stay up here, stay up, stay up. Heather Ravencroft. Representative from the Friends of the Cypress Park Improvement Association. Is there? Guillermo Rios. Oh, Guillermo. Uh, Guillermo. Guillermo. Let's give them another round of applause. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Congressman Gomez. Congressman uh, mentioned uh, Supervisor Solis. She is not in here today, but she has Taylor Dudley representing her office here today. Taylor? Hi, everyone. Good morning. It's such a privilege to be here with you today. My grandfather was in the United States Army. My grandfather, or excuse me, my father was in the United States Air Force. So as the proud daughter of veterans, I'm, I'm really happy to be here today on behalf of Supervisor Solis. She regrets that she couldn't be here today. She's traveling around the district to many events just like this one, but she sends her regards to all of you for hosting this ceremony. Supervisor Solis wants to express her heartfelt gratitude to the veterans and the residents of the first district. We celebrate and honor the men and women in uniform, those who, have, those who currently serve and those who have served and those who have sacrificed their lives for this great country. We also thank the families in the community and the many supporters who are here to show their support and appreciation for veterans. Earlier this week, Supervisor Solis celebrated the grand opening of the Veterans America's Job Center at Bob Hope Patriotic Hall. Supervisor Solis wanted us to let you know that this Veterans Job Center is tailored to meet the unique needs of veterans and their families and enables them to easily access a full range of on-site services, including employment services, housing, child support, legal services, and mental health services. We truly hope that you'll visit this center soon. On behalf of Supervisor Solis, I would also like to present this certificate 
to the Friends of Cypress Park Community Improvement Association for hosting this event today. Thank you very much. point I'd like to introduce a, uh, a very important lady, important to the Los Angeles Police Department, and a uh, personal friend, Commissioner Sandra Figueroa Villa for the Los Angeles Police Commission. Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do have some words prepared. I wasn't sure if I was going to be asked to speak. Um, my name is Sandra Figueroa Villa, and I was appointed to the Police Commission by Mayor Garcetti. And I'm also the Executive Director of El Centro del Pueblo, which we have one of the, our family source center sites here in Cypress Park. I want to thank you all for being here today. I would like to begin by asking all the heroic and brave veterans here today to stand. And I would also like to ask anyone currently enrolled with any of the United States military branches to stand, that, to stand as well. And help me applaud and pay respect to these wonderful men and women who are responsible for protecting our lives, our families, our homes, and our country. These living heroes, along with those that gave their all, sacrificed and fought to protect our country's democracy and constitutional rights. We owe them our gratitude and appreciation. So please stand and help me applaud them. thank you to to you all but sometimes thank you is not enough today we Americans face many international and domestic threats to our country our democracy and our freedoms as a police commissioner I want to emphasize the importance of the sacrifices our brothers and sisters make to provide us all with the protections and security we selfishly take for granted we can do better. We must all do better. While many of our veterans return from service to rejoin their families and friends, and as Jimmy spoke about, some do come.